StarCraft II has been cooking away at Blizzard's labs for some time now, and it's just about ready to crystallize. Many have already had the chance to experience the game's finely tuned take on real-time strategy for themselves through the current multiplayer beta. And while online skirmishes surely remain one of the chief attractions of this franchise's return to the spotlight, a completely renovated single-player campaign seems just as intent on recapturing your attention. I'd say getting vaporized by the Tal Dream definitely counts as diminishing returns. The Terran-centric first installment of the planned trilogy, Wings of Liberty, focuses on the efforts of the renegade Jim Raynor in his battle against the Tyranus Dominion. Low on support and even lower on funds, the grizzled veteran puts his services up as a gun for hire, traveling the star systems aboard the battlecruiser Hyperion in search of pay. Of course, he'll also find himself ensnared in some seriously developed intergalactic intrigue. Only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. Playing to the story's mercenary vibe, Wings of Liberty presents a non-linear 29 mission campaign that allows players to progress as they please. Whether it's initiating a dig on ancient Protoss ruins or evacuating human civilians from Zerg-infested grounds, your work will earn you money which enables you to buy additional units and upgrades, bolstering your forces as you move from one job to the next. Aboard the Hyperion, the game's new role-playing elements provide interactivity and story-building that go beyond some basic text prompting your next mission. Raynor and his crew chew the fat on the current situation at hand, while a phone news network in the background gives updates based on the decisions you've made in-game. The presence of choice and consequences could potentially make the StarCraft II experience more dynamic and dramatic. You will pay for your transgressions with your lives. Incorporating RPG DNA is definitely one of the biggest changes for the series, but the planned improvements to the formula are confined to the campaign. Coinciding with the release of Wings of Liberty is the relaunch of Blizzard's online Battle.net service, which has been refitted with sophisticated matchmaking features and also supports achievements and cross-game integration with other Blizzard games like World of Warcraft and the upcoming Diablo 3. From what we've experienced so far in the beta, it seems safe to say that online play will continue to be the cornerstone of the experience, with the three militant races mixing it up in classic StarCraft fashion with new units and tweaked tech trees. Research complete. With aspirations to match its lengthy development time, StarCraft II is a game that might just trump its genre-defining predecessor. Check back in July to see if this starry-eyed sequel will make its mark in the annals of RTS history in our full review. Hell, it's about time.